Hey y'all, this week's quick tip is about how you can integrate Google Meet and Jamboard. And there are several things I want you to know. First of all, if you're not familiar with Jamboard, you can go to jamboard.google.com and it's this big whiteboard. I have a template, a graphic organizer that I like to use with Jamboard. You've got your tools over here. So in terms of using it with Google Meet, you can create a new one or you can actually use one that you've already created. So when you're ready, you just go down to your three dots, your more options, and go to whiteboard, open a jam. And it's gonna ask you, do you wanna start a new one or choose from Drive? So I'm gonna choose from Drive, and I'm gonna find my, my graphic organizer here, and I'm gonna click open jam. What Google Meet does, the magic of this, is the fact that not only have I, I opened this little floating window, which sort of drives me crazy, but stay with me here. If you click on your chat, you can now see that that jam has been shared with everyone who is in the meeting. So um, depending on how you had already shared that jam, if you've already posted it in Google Classroom, but this is a really nice feature to be able to have this and then students can join. So especially if you're using it to brainstorm or take notes during the meeting, this is really handy. Now the floating window has already disappeared, but that's partially because I'm recording. What I would typically do if that's my focus of my lesson is go to present, go to tab, and actually open up that Jamboard. And so that would then become the focus of the screen. So those are ways that you can now integrate Google Meet and Jamboard. I love that they're bringing these two together because they are very great for synchronous learning. So if you like this tip, go ahead and click that like button for me. I would love it if you would subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified when new tips come out each week.